Good morning, everybody. Hi, um, it's Kathy. And again, story time today is coming from my backyard. I'm sure you can hear the birds in the background. Absolutely lovely. Uh, it's a gorgeous morning this morning. I want to read to you a story um, of a girl. It's a, kind of a young girl. Um, and let me just tell you a little bit about her. Number one, she became queen. She tricked an evil guy. She risked everything to save not only her life, but the life of the Jewish people. And believe it or not, she started a celebration that is still going on today. We're going to do a little Bible trivia after the story, so stay tuned, okay guys? The story is on Queen Esther. And if you have your Spark Story Bible, you can find it on page 153. Ready? Here we go. Queen Esther. Once there was a girl named Esther. When she was young, Esther was adopted by her cousin Mordecai. She grew into a lovely young woman. One day, the king decreed that he needed a new queen. Esther and other young women from the kingdom were presented to the king. When the king saw Esther, he said, you are the one, I want you to be my queen. Esther and Mordecai were Jewish, but the people who worshiped other gods did not like the Jewish people. Esther had not told the king or anyone else in the palace that she and Mor Mordecai were Jewish. One of those who hated Jewish people was one of the king's top officials, Haman. The king said, because Haman is so important, everyone should kneel and bow down to him. This made Haman very happy because he thought a lot of himself, just saying. But Mordecai knew he should only bow down to God. When Haman saw that Mordecai wouldn't bow down to him, he was mad. And when he learned Mordecai was Jewish, he was even madder. Haman said, I'm going to use my power to have Mordecai and all the Jewish people killed. Mordecai was scared. He asked Esther to go to the king to stop Haman. Maybe this is the reason you have become queen, he said. Perhaps God knew that we would need you to save us. Esther was afraid. If she told the king she was Jewish, she could be killed too. But if she didn't tell him, all of her people would be killed. She decided to risk her life to try and save her people. I have found out something important, Esther said. Haman is planning to kill all of the Jewish people. And then Esther told her secret. She was Jewish too. The king loved Esther. He stopped Haman's plan. Haman was taken away and the king gave Haman's job to Mordecai. Here is my ring for you to wear, the king said to Mordecai. Write a message to all of the Jewish people in my kingdom. Tell them they are safe. Use my name and seal the letters with my ring. The letters went to people all across the land and they celebrated with music, feasting, and dancing. Hooray for Queen Esther, the people cheered. Because of her bravery, we are all saved. You know, what would you have done if you were Esther? Think about that for a moment. Would you be afraid to tell your secret? I don't know. Let me know, okay guys? Send me a little email, send me your thoughts on that. Um, okay, I promised you Bible trivia. Here is a Bible trivia question. Two books in the Bible were named after women. One of them, Esther. If you can find out the other one, send me an email and I'm going to put your name in for a drawing. Okay, I know summer is coming, a little DQ ice cream probably, you know, would go pretty good right now. So don't forget on Sunday to listen to Pastor John. Um, he is going to talk about another brave young woman and you probably heard about her. Um, her name is Anne Frank. So stay tuned. Listen to what Pastor John has to say. Send me those emails and look in your inbox for a special message from Kathy and Amy, which will be coming out very soon. All right, guys, have a great day. 
We miss you. God bless. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Okay? All right. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.